Hi everyone. Certain statins can cause nightmares in certain patient populations. We're going to discuss what types of statins can do this and possible mechanisms as to how they can do this and some other findings with regards to nightmares as well. So statins are medications used to reduce blood cholesterol levels. So some examples include atorvastatin. Anything with statin at the end of its name is going to be a statin medication. So atorvastatin is one of the statin medications, and they work by inhibiting an enzyme called HMG-CoA reductase, and this enzyme is involved in producing cholesterol in our bodies. Now, some of the most common side effects of statins include myalgias, so muscle aches and pains, and headaches, among some others as well. So yes, statins have been found to cause nightmares in certain patients. And not only nightmares, but also vivid dreams have been noted in some patients taking certain statins. And if we were to look at this hypnogram here, this traces the different stages of sleep. And what we're going to find is that we get more REM sleep as the night goes on. And nightmares occur during REM sleep or rapid eye movement sleep. So nightmares are going to occur more during the second half of sleep. Patients not only have reported nightmares, but they've also reported night terrors as well. Night terrors are going to be in the first third of sleep. Night terrors are simply where a patient will wake up very scared, and it's usually some image that they see. There's no story-like dream that they would have experienced. It's just more like a scary image. So if you were to ask a patient that's just had a sleep terror or a night terror, they wouldn't be able to tell you the, what the dream was about because it wasn't actually a dream. It was just an image or something scary that came into their mind. So some of the reports on nightmares and vivid dreams was demonstrated in teenagers taking statins. And other studies have noted to be an uncommon finding, especially in certain patients. Now, it's generally going to be in those who are more susceptible to psychological disturbances. So in patients who have had nightmares in the past, if they're more likely to have depression, they're more likely to experience nightmares, not always, but they're just more likely to. And on top of nightmares and vivid dreams, patients have been reported to, again, have night terrors, which we just mentioned, but also sleepwalking and other issues with insomnia. So in some cases, it seems that certain statins will impair proper sleep architecture. We're going to talk about that here in a moment. So what are some of the statins that can do this and how do they do it? So if we look at the brain, the brain is going to be protected from the rest of the bloodstream by what we call the blood-brain barrier. Now, certain things can cross the blood-brain barrier easier than others, and especially those that are more what we call lipophilic, or things that are more fat-soluble are more likely to cross the blood-brain barrier. So what are some of the statins that are more likely to do this? Some of the statins are, that are more likely to do this include simvastatin, atorvastatin, and lovastatin. These are all what we call highly lipophilic. So they're more fat soluble, they're more likely to cross the blood-brain barrier. And in fact, these are the statins that are more likely to cause nightmares, vivid dreams, etc. in patients who are susceptible to it. Now, what are some statins that are less likely to do this? Those are what we would call the less lipophilic ones, and these are rosuvastatin and pravastatin. These are less likely to cross the blood-brain barrier, so they're less likely to cause some of the findings we talked about in this lesson. And why might this happen? The hypothesis is that with certain statins, like atorvastatin, that can cross the blood-brain barrier easier, they seem to potentially impact brain cholesterol signaling. So that's one possible mechanism as to why they may be causing nightmares or vivid dreams or even changes to sleep architecture. Second is that they may have impacts on serotonin functioning or the activity of certain serotonergic neurons in the brain. So it is possible that some statins are either increasing neuronal functioning of certain serotonergic neurons or decreasing some in different parts of the brain. We know that serotonin is involved in sleep regulation, so it's going to be very important here. So this is the main hypothesis as to why statins cause nightmares. Please check out my full lesson on statin side effects and other weird side effects of statin use. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. Please also consider joining as a member for members-only content. Thanks so much for watching, and hope to see you next time.